Brian Peters here with you for the Weather Extreme video for January the 3rd, Sunday. And the cold just keeps rolling along. And we don't want to make light of this cold. The cold can be very serious, especially as it begins to mount up here with the cold. So make sure those pipes are wrapped properly and be sure to check on any elderly friends or relatives to make sure their heat's working properly and also be sure to take care of your outdoor pets. Let's take a look at the Skycam network. We've got uh, the lights over Birmingham or uh, across Birmingham. We've got lights across Tuscaloosa as well. Not much uh, sun showing up in the sky just yet. A little too early for that, but a little teeny peak as we can see off in the sky from Mount Chiha looking off to the east northeast across the uh, hotel up there. Thought I'd very quickly show you the temperature trace at my house. Uh, interesting how it fell to about uh, between 22 and 23 degrees around uh, just after midnight, uh, about uh, 1 a.m. or so, and just stayed there all night long. So uh, kind of an interesting temperature trace this morning. The uh, closed low over the New England and the mid-Atlantic states is, uh, is still anchored there and will be for another uh, day or so before it begins to head out to sea and away from us, and that is helping to reinforce the cold air as we see pieces of energy, one over the Great Lakes and a couple of shortwave troughs in the flow moving down the uh, uh, the uh, eastern slopes of the ridge off to our west. Temperatures very cold across south-central Canada, minus 30 range, and uh, certainly a lot of below freezing values across the country with the exception of the west coast and the Gulf Coast, and some of Texas, and uh, a good portion of Peninsula of Florida. For us, we're just ab absolutely shiveringly cold this morning with some uh, teen values, and I'm sure some spots are getting down into the 12 to 15 range, but uh, certainly rather cold. And again, keep this cold very seriously. I make a little light of it, but uh, please take it very, very seriously. Not many watches and warnings and advisories in effect uh, this morning, but we still have a few. Uh, a few in the vicinity of uh, southwest uh, uh, Missouri and uh, northwest Arkansas, northeastern Oklahoma, a few still out in the Texas Panhandle area, and then a number of advisories still in effect uh, out uh, or up in the mid-Atlantic states stretching up into Maine. Uh, a lot of those, especially those brown ones, are wind advisories, so certainly an active weather pattern. QPFY is not expecting a great deal of precipitation, and that's good with the cold because if we did, that means that it would be snow, and it is looking more and more seriously like there is a bit of a snow threat for Thursday and Friday uh, in that time frame. All right, here's the 06E GFS model run. This is the latest data we have available, and here's the surface chart for today at midday, and you can uh, note the 540 line uh, down around the Gulf Coast, a little bit to just north of Mobile in the vicinity of Dothan. And uh, we're noting uh, uh, there'll be some clouds moving through the flow, and uh, you can see those uh, green areas off to our northwest. Is there a possibility we might see a flurry or two? Yes, uh, as we see some clouds moving by, we might see uh, a flurry or two, but nothing of any significance. The uh, closed low begins to move away from New England, uh, but as it does, we're still seeing all these strong uh, short waves rotate around that, and uh, the result is it continues to uh, reinforced the cold air. Notice now the 540 line well into the Gulf of Mexico, uh, and this is uh, tomorrow, Monday at midday. By Tuesday at midday, uh, not much change. The cold is just firmly entrenched across the eastern half of the country. By Wednesday, we're seeing just a slight warming trend. Now, don't look for much, but maybe we'll approach 40 degrees. That will seem warm after uh, a, a string of days with uh, highs only in the 30s. Now, by Thursday, here comes uh, the troublemaker. Uh, here we come a very strong short wave uh, coming down the uh, eastern slopes of the Rockies and uh, the eastern side of the ridge that's on the west coast. And uh, that is likely to help uh, enhance and develop a surface low in the northern Gulf of Mexico and with uh, freezing temperatures in effect in place across this area. Uh, we're looking at the possibility of some snow and potentially some ice, but right now it looks like primarily snow, and that is uh, Thursday. The uh, storm system moves off to the east-northeast fairly rapidly. 
Uh, and we should see the, the uh, precipitation, uh, mostly snow, ending on Friday by midday or so. And uh, that uh, will sweep on out of here. So it looks like the main threat is going to come from uh, about Thursday afternoon through uh, about noon on Friday or so. Uh, the continuation of this pattern with a long wave trough over the eastern half of the country with these pieces of energy moving by in, in the form of short waves, and that just helps to reinforce this cold. And here comes another one, and that does reinforce the cold. Once again, the 540 line all the way down in the vicinity of the Gulf of Mexico. This is Saturday. And then on Sunday, here comes another one. It appears this one will come through fairly uh, dry, although once again, GFS indicating some clouds and the possibility that we might see some snow flurries with that. All right, let's go out into voodoo country. And uh, the, the, the big screaming thing that has come about from the long-range forecast all week has been the fact that it continues to be uh, a high amplitude pattern and that the, the trend is for a good deal of activity. And you can see a, a very strong short wave moving uh, across the Mississippi River on the uh, 13th and uh, that producing another storm system with another threat for winter weather across the southeastern U.S., and then uh, further further along, around the 17th, here comes another one. Now notice that the amplitude of this, the, that is the north-south extent, is not nearly uh, as big as the previous one. But once again, that's uh, another potential storm system that might bring us uh, something in the way of a wintry mix of precipitation. So we're certainly not out of the woods. Well, we appreciate you tuning into the Weather Extreme video. Uh, James Spann will be back from his vacation come uh, Monday morning, although you have, you've noticed on the blog, Blog, he keeps peeking in from time to time. Uh, he's a workaholic. You just can't. He just can't get away from the weather. Uh, I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. I certainly hope that you have a good upcoming week and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.